All right, guys, question and answer number 36, the final question in Manifesting Miracles. And here we go. How could one who was deprived in his youth become a success in life? We are creatures of habit, forming patterns of the mind which repeat themselves over and over again. Although habit acts like a compelling law which drives one to repeat the patterns, it is not a law, for you and I can change the patterns. Many successful men such as Henry Ford, Rockefeller, and Carnegie were deprived in their youth. Many of the great names in this country came from poor families, yet they left behind them great accomplishments in the political, artistic, and financial world. One evening, a friend of mine attended a meeting for young advertising executives. The speaker of the evening said to these young men, I have but one thing to say to you tonight, and that is to make yourself big and you cannot fail. Taking an ordinary fishbowl, he filled it with two bags, one of English walnuts and the other of small beans. Mixing them with his hand, he began to shake the bowl and said, this bowl is life. You cannot stop its shaking, as life is a constant pulsing living rhythm, but watch. And as they watched, the, the big walnuts came to the top of the bowl and the little beans fell to the bottom. Looking into the bowl, the man asked, which one of you is complaining, asking why? Then added, isn't it strange? The sound is coming from the bowl and not the outside. A bean is complaining. Wow, okay. A bean is complain, complaining that if he had had the same environment as the walnut, he too would be big things, would do big things, but he never had the chance. Then he took a little bean from the bottom of the bowl and placed him on top saying, I can move the bean through sheer force, but I cannot stop the bowl of life from shaking. And as he took the bowl, as he shook the bowl, the little bean once again slid to the bottom. Hearing another voice of complaint, he asked, what, what's that I hear? You are saying that I should take one of those big fellows who thinks he is so big and then, and then put him on the bottom and see what happens to him? You believe he will just as he, you believe he will be just as limited as you because he will be robbed of the opportunity of big things just as you are? Let's see. Then the speaker took one of the big walnuts and pushed him right down the bottom of the bowl saying, I will stop the bowl from shaking. And as the man watched the big walnut came to the top again, then the speaker added, gentlemen, if you really want to be successful in life, make yourself big. My friend took his message to heart and began to assume he was a successful businessman. Today, he is truly a big man if you judge success by dollars. He now employs over a thousand people in the city of New York. Each one of you can do what he did. Assume you are what you want to be. Walk on the assumption and it will harden into fact. All right, guys, that is number 36 out of Manifesting Miracles. All right, guys, that's it. Going to the next book. Uh, I might might do some segments on uh, the beginning chapters of this book. Actually, at your command. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I know there's no chapters in this at your command, but um, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pick out some gold nuggets for you guys. All right. Thank you. And comments, questions. Love you.